Hello and welcome to the uh, third episode of the Augie's Instinctive Flying Technique um, Method for learning how to fly radio control helicopters. The purpose of this method is to teach people to uh, fly instinctively and break the um, plateau or the maximum uh, ability that they have been reached and they cannot go into a flying 3D. So for those who are trying to learn how to go into full 3D, do like pirou flips and the, uh, all that kind of stuff, <coughs> this is a method that works for you. And uh, also for the ones that are kind of doing it and they want to get really good at this um, for instance if you're doing pirouette flips but you know how to do pirouetting flying like you know pirouetting hurricanes pirouetting loops pirouetting snakes pirouetting whatever you want to do this is a method for you okay so uh this is one of the three first episodes which is uh the one that set up the the, the ones that i did for setting up your simulator to match what the um what the uh, settings are that work better for the method. So remember, this is not not a full setup um, <coughs> uh, video for learning how to do full setup of these simulators. It's only uh, what we need for this method. I'm gonna try to be cover, you know, a lot of things anyway. But uh, that's the way it's it, this one works. So. Another thing that uh, that um, that uh, I wanted to 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 put into um, uh, into motion is the um, let me see where's that thing. Hold on for a second. Uh, here. Okay. So the other thing that I wanted to put into motion is the ability for people to fly the way they want with the settings they want and not be stuck to something that somebody tells them so this is part of that that's another thing that you're going to learn from this all right so let's start with the thing uh this uh, is a new um simulator for me <coughs> <coughs> sorry i have not used this simulator before until recently uh, it was it was uh, recommended to me by some very good friends, and what happened was that uh, because of that, I well, I really con uh, um, appreciate their their advice. I went ahead and bought it and started using it, and I was blown away by the performance and the quality of the thing. It's really really good. So um, it's a little bit of uh, you know because this is the first time I use it. I mean. Not the first time. The, 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 I'm really new to this to this uh, simulator, and I'm loving it. So, uh, well, let's let's see what what it's all about, right? So, right. First thing, the first thing you need to do is configuration. Regular controller, you know. Uh, you simply go to your sticks and and the whole thing, you know. Let let me do. Well, anyway. So this I don't really want to get into that right now. This is so simple. You go sticks, center, center, whatever, uh, center of the sticks, and move the sticks and the whole thing. So it, it's very easy. It's a straightforward. It's a single step. So I'm not going to get into that because it's really super easy. Despite that, uh, here is something that I cannot believe somebody did, which is a manual. Right? A manual for the simulator. Can you believe that? Look at that. Developer, helicopter, models, installation. I mean the the whole thing. You can do the uh, stick. Um, um, I mean everything. It's 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 amazing. So you can look at that information on there and find what you need as far as you know setting up that. So I'm not gonna waste time on doing that here. So okay, configuration again. Google controller. Do everything else. Blah blah. Okay. So and uh, uh, then we go. Here's how you select the airport. You select the airport here. There is a humongous number of uh, airports. 
and uh and it's they're really good really really good this one is one that i like um i don't even know what the name of the thing is so let me see if i uh scene selection uh, recent airports it's uh i think it's this one it's a se one nba almir se one and this was recommended to me by mike wilson who is uh, a member of the team bob zero zero uh, Canadian team of uh, hardcore 3D pilots. So, um, start position. So, we have uh, airport and the model selection. Uh, you can select um, anything you want here. It's, there's a bazillion. And, and the nice thing is that you, it allows you to make your own. So, if somebody wants to contribute with that, it becomes available. So, pretty much, um, see, physics by Helishwood Hel Gonzalez. Uh, author Jan Stafford, you see, they have that. Um, this is uh, Heli Schul Gonzalez, is a very well known German uh, trainer, and um, and it's a fantastic uh, guy. This guy is really good. I, I really like the, the the settings, and he's also a friend of um, Simone, and uh, and uh, she's uh, well, you know, Simone is a really nice girl in Germany that flies for a gobbling for Saab and it's a fantastic and very nice person and fantastic pilot anyway so here we are uh, so you select whatever you want right so uh, right now I got the raw they're they're pretty cool models like, um, like for instance it, there's the mind the Aurora Banshee for instance you know for those who like um, then you have uh, I mean Guavi Goblin the only thing that I that I'm missing here um, is the X X uh, uh, what's the name of that um, Excel powered only because <coughs> they're being developed, so they're gonna be out in pretty soon. So over here you have the Protoss also. See the Volusion. This thing is amazing in the air. Protoss 700X and all that, uh, and uh, you know all the other ones that I fly. So I'm going to use this one because this is the one I'm going to be buying next. Because I flew uh, Michael, Michael, um, Michael uh, Holly's uh, uh, raw, and I fell in love with this helicopter. This helicopter is amazing. I love it. Amazing, amazing. Um, and so, so I'm going to have a raw. Um, what's the name of the thing? The the Kraken. The Excel Power Spectre, one of my favorite helis too. The thing is just badass. Uh, the Protoss uh, Evolutione, the Protoss Nitro. I'm all my, you know, my five monstros that I have. So I'm gonna be full of helis. So, but this one is one that I like to. So I'm gonna use that. So we're so in this uh, model selection, uh, you also have colors and textures, right? So the fuselage, you know, you have yellow, red, and so let's see, like for instance, the red one, see? You have the red one, the green, the orange, the blue, the pink, the pink, and no canopy also for the ones that don't fly canopy, like a lot of time I don't fly canopy. Because uh, uh, I don't wanna, you know, I, I, wanna, I wanna crash and not break a canopy, so. But most of the times, uh, um, you know, for this particular model that has <coughs> this uh, semi no canopy thing. I don't think I'm gonna take uh, the canopy off. So <coughs> another thing that is nice is we have also the booms. Look at that yellow boom, red boom, orange, green. You know, let me try around and see. So orange, blue, and pink. I think this combo is pretty, pretty, pretty fun. Pink uh, and, and all that. So, but we're gonna stay with this stock. But it's it's pretty awesome. <coughs> So you have here the ones that you have downloaded, and you can uh, upper selection. When you select, it goes into um, a list, and and you simply download the, the new the new uh, um, airports. Also, model selection here, you gotta go into a list and select all of the ones that you like in one shot, and then download them, and then they will be part of your. So you have to do it once and get all the models that you like. <coughs> and uh, they will be stored in your in your computer. So we're seeing airports, airport favorites. You know, these are the ones that I use favorite. 
Mobile Favorite, Banshee Aurora, Blood Monstro. Um, check out the Monstro. It's pretty cool. Also, it has the the textures. It has red canopy, no canopy, green, Forza, yellow, yellow, um, neon yellow. Okay. Uh, this is the red normal, and this is the red neon, which is uh, the other one that I have. And this. So the actual uh, official ones are the red neo. Uh, the uh, he call it uh, here. Then the yellow neo and the red one. This is original. And I like to fly it on the red. That's one. Um, tail sticker Avant and Helix. I don't know. I haven't seen that before. So I guess he's gonna have some something there. Okay. So uh, go back to the model selection. I'm gonna be flying the um, uh, Goblin Raw, I think is the name here. Goblin Raw 700, okay. So I'm gonna fly for this. Uh <coughs> so the same thing is with the other ones, you know, the the um, uh, like the Protos and uh, and, all, and the future Excel ones. Okay. Anyway, so the factory settings is simply terminal is something that you know we don't need to get into this. It's not important. Uh, um, factory settings is reset to factory settings. I'm not going to do that because I already have a lot of configurations. Controller configuration already so rescan USB controller that allows you to rescan and see what you have there connected. Uh, stick display mode one, you know mode two, whatever, you know. Uh, so those are the modes. <coughs> Camera, I love this camera thing. Remember in the other ones I said you need to do let me do this so you can see, okay? So this is a mode without without this um oops, sorry. So as you can see the center <coughs> the center of the thing um uh um the center uh of the I'm, I'm sorry, the helicopter stays on the center of the screen. Uh, hold on for a second. I didn't do that. Version stick camera camera. Okay. Yeah. Correct. So now I'm going to do uh, soft camera mode, which is the one that I was telling you guys to use in the other one. See how I now can be moving. So if I say okay and look at how it moves around the the center of the what I'm trying to do is see it doesn't stay in the center because it is more natural so that that is uh, a part of the I think it's even the, the, the reset the default of that so let me see configuration camera remember this is where you touch that anything else here simply zoom blah 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 whatever it's not important to us this is the one that you want to have soft camera mode okay uh, camera flight mode okay this is where you do the setup of the helicopter and it's pretty simple look at this you have let me see if I can move it around a little bit actually it's not important because you still have to so <coughs> uh, you have idle up one idle up two idle up three so you have a, the, the banks you know auto rotation so you can do in each one of them have your setup the way you want it okay and they're ser pretty simple, you know. S a cyclic. Um, the speed of the cyclic is here, okay. The expo of the cyclic is here. The dead one is here. Collected pitch. You can do, you know, um, pretty much anything. You know, it's 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 simple. Let me see other lot three, which is the one that I'm using. You have um, dual rate, 83 percent. That's the speed. So. Uh, let's say we change it to I don't know 125 percent, okay? With a zero expo, which is 30 percent right here, right? Okay, so you can do. Um, see how it's much uh, smaller. See that? M I'm sorry, much uh, softer than before. Slower, and now the expo is zero. And uh, so you go here, and uh, this is a, a slightly different, but uh, where's that configuration? Uh, flight mode, okay. 
So in this case, the expo, I'm sorry, I went to zero, so minus 100. Say expo being uh, zero. And by the way, you can go with the up and down arrow, okay? Okay, and okay, and save, okay? So now we have that and we have zero expo. As you can see. Anyway, so uh, going to that, um, where is that at? Center. Uh, what was that? Fly mode. Okay. Fly mode is the setup. So you see, it has no expo, it's a straight line. Um, I think it was 83 here. 83. And this was, I think, in 30%. I just want to leave it like the original one because I want to. To do some this one I haven't I want to see how the setup on this one is the original one I don't, don't want to lose it but anyway so idle up three is like that so same thing you know cyclic roll cyclic nick cyclic roll is this one here okay so you have the, the elevator uh, aileron rudder same story okay so yeah see it, they're the same now perfect um, rudder is um, the speed of the rudder okay 83 percent but you go maximum expo 50 percent interesting that they have the same recommendation that i do 50 percent is the center uh the, the expo on the on the um, tail because you want to have a very very small reaction at the beginning so you can do s s you know small corrections while you're doing flying backwards or you tail first and stuff like that and then but if you go full then you have full period in rate which is this one here okay so that's 50x x1 that's what it means dead band again the same thing uh this is the the area where sticks don't do anything so you have to have a, a neutral zone and that's what's called dead band okay collected pitch is the same thing you know so it's, uh, so you go remember like like what you do with your radio so minus 14 7 0 7 14 degrees pretty cool because you can go straight to the actual angle okay and this is uh, pretty nice throttle uh, you have the for each one of the of your uh, um, travel on the stick in the throttle stick uh, you set up so it's it is the same as your throttle curves in your radio you know you set up all of them to that all of them to this and all of them see so see look at this line here less more and more see there you go so that's how you select the the speed the rpm by selecting this so it, this is very simple collective very simple throttle fee four factors it is something that um has to do with um remember uh, the pumps the things that you can do on um on a uh, um on a V bar pitch pump or or a roll rolls uh, uh, roll can and, and Nick Nick by the way is elevator he calls it elevator Nick and I'm gonna talk to him and see if we can make these things more the common English words you know so Nick roll pitch uh, so elevator roll uh, elevator aileron and pitch or collective that's fine so this is something that you this is uh, simulating the the fly bar style you know so it's uh it's pretty cool so it's already there i normally add pitch on my on my real models you know I, I do like 50 on the pitch pond on my on my v -bar. in this case because this is just something that i'm you know i don't want to mess with this model because i want to learn uh, right. but pretty much that's the way you, add, you you adjust everything you know so i'm gonna try this model as it is or rotation is the same thing it's same story you know and you have obviously uh, same degrees here but throttle is going to be all zero because that's what you do when you do that and everything else is you know you cannot adjust that so mostly our rotation is going to have only the zero here and that's about it you know so another thing that's nice is you can save the curves and you can load them so uh, what I wanted to do which was uh, save that thing I should actually save it uh, before um, I mess with it so but I'm gonna do that later when I, when I work on that myself 
Okay, so I'm gonna do cancel here so I don't I don't change anything on that. Uh, now here we have um, uh, we said flight mode. Okay, now trim. Okay, trim is um, so. By the way, that's that's just the way it is. You know, that's as simple as that. That's how you do the setup for for that. Uh, you can if you want to know. There is also a video that explains with a V bar, V control, the actual preferences I have for the for the um, for the radio, you know, and we'll work on that uh, a, a bit more when I start doing the episodes for each one of the maneuvers and things like that. We're gonna start with the easiest maneuver there is, you know, the one that we're gonna release in. Uh, that we like if it was me and somebody else <laughs> like I'm used to working on, on you know for, like when I say X car is a we because you know it's a whole bunch of people that work at the company and uh, and X car is a subdivision of that <coughs> the handles um, the handles uh, hobby stuff so uh, so that's why I'm used to saying we but in this case it's me I'm doing this for the for the community Right, so we have a configuration trim, you know, this is in case you want to do trimming. This is apply applicable to uh, mostly to airplanes, you know, because this one also has airplane simulation. Uh, center of gravity, this is something that if the plane, if the helicopter has a, a variable center of gravity uh, and the definition, you can use that to adjust it. Wind brightness, well, obviously wind and brightness you know so we go uh, too bright whatever and the wind you know it's just, it's just it's, i don't think i need to spend much time on this stuff okay uh why am i not able to put exactly okay and uh, uh, anyway it's fine um uh wind brightness slow motion this is something that the helicopter simulators have I don't use it and don't don't uh, recommend using it for the method that we are doing because the method is the idea for the method is to make it so fast that you cannot follow it we're gonna try to break that habit of following stuff you know so the way we do it is we make it fast and we even have in this we in this case we're talking about um, the we all of us have these um, uh, features from from the from the simulator for all of us, and this we have now on this thing. By the way, uh, a lot of the things are not uh, are not uh, model selection. Okay, let me see where's that uh, fa airport model favorite. Robin Rob and she no uh, model selection uh, what's the name of that thing again Ogi something Ogi Ogi something okay Ogi glass training disc okay so that one is uh, it's a uh, no, notice that this one is actually a a um, what do you call this um, let me try off this thing this is a, a, a glass, uh, so so you can't see anything. You know, the only thing you have to get some idea of where the, where the hell is at is this thing. And we, in the method, we're going to use um, some other tools that will make this something that you're going to be only be aware of, not follow it. People that have done it with me, they know what I'm, what I'm talking about. Uh, so this is a model that is coming with that. It's also on the um, next model, on the next simulator, that will also be available pretty soon. Um, and uh, um, so that is there. Uh, and uh, so let me go back to the previous one. A recent models. Uh, row, 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 row. Here it is. So that's where we are. Okay. Uh, so let's go and we were talking about slow motion again so that's why the slow motion I don't recommend using it you know so let's not do that okay uh, so so that we can go full speed because 
we don't want to you to observe anything and understand anything that's not what we want we want you to not understand anything and not observe anything that is what we want to do on this method okay you and me you know the person that is doing that and now I'm going to be referring to we as you and me being the persons that are where we're going to be doing this okay so we write slow motion rescue okay so trims and recovery slow motion rescue is simply uh you know the robust or fast or whatever setting up how your rescue works you know the rescue uh, global settings is um uh, this is where you want to do the one thing here is uh, this uh, where's that as uh, uh, where is it I'm looking for the uh, dynamic blade normal let me see for a second the smoke no and I am not sure if it's here uh, I'm looking for the the disk the transparency of the disc, you know, of the of the rotor uh, when it's flying. Let me see, dynamic blaze, I go with no density. Smoke, du -du 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 -du. no, it's not here. This is probably another one. We'll, we'll probably find it, okay? This is the That's the one that I want to look at. Where was it? Configuration, global settings, sound. Sound is simply, you can turn it on or off. Doppler factor, that's for the for the you know when a car comes towards you and it's like oh that's a doubler thing so this thing has that built in sound of remote models models um volume uh transmitter sound i don't know what this is but i'm assuming that that is uh, simulates the sound of the transmitter ambient sound and everything else so call cancel here um global setting sound shadows ah there it was you know shadows uh this one here depends on your on your um graphics card so careful with this because this kind of stuff uh like for instance the rotor is probably going to take a lot of uh, power from yours so careful with that because that is the kind of stuff that in my case i have plenty of power when talking about people that have computers that have uh less than 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 top of the line and so uh, be careful of that. So rotor transparency, that's the one that I was looking for. <laughs> I was looking for that on the other side of the actual so important that it's actually here. So I go like this, whoa, full. Okay. And when I do that, you will notice that now you're see? So when I why is that? Because I we need to see because we're gonna learn to look at at the rotor, you know, and that's why we wanna do it like that. So that we have some sort of a, of a, a real good understanding of uh, where the rotor is, the rotor is, and what it's doing, and and that's why I wanted to have it like here. As you can see, it's easy to see, and it's uh, pretty. Um, uh, that's kind of close there. So it's easy to see, and that um, uh, gives you a quick. Uh, quick um let me go on to uh, research okay uh, where's that at uh, that's still the hitting this in the space i asked uh, the owner of the company to please add a reset uh i yeah uh, i have a reload set up to the switch but the correct one is this one uh, options oh no here shortcuts reset model so that's the one that he's going to add reset models to a so they can be assigned to a, both a keyboard key and a switch on the helicopter because that way you can reset quickly that's a very important thing for learning quickly so the transparency canvas size is the size of the screen risk called low flight that's a recorder for flights multiplayer it's fantastic i tried it it's really really solid it's fantastic uh training uh, okay, so here we have some some goodies. Let me give you a little bit of an up. up. I think that you guys uh, remember probably when I asked the, the simulator uh, manufacturers to add some some uh, some uh, features, some tools, uh, and 
some of them did already so uh, actually he did them already fully uh, next is working on it and um, from what I understand so far I haven't been told anything else the um, accuracy is not planning on doing that uh, and uh, so this one will have it okay helicopters um, training and then you got no collective training right this is something that you have on next and you have on this one of course you know they're normal people that have uh, that have worked with me know what I'm doing right now which is part of the part of some of, some of the methods right and uh, and um, the difference in this thing this case you know and I wanted to have that is to have something that will be available on Friday for everybody that has this thing for free so Friday of the right before the Friday of the what's the name of that the the um, fun fly the the spring fling you know this is 2021 in case in the future we revisit this so that you know it's 2021 and we are talking about the spring fling of 2021 so um, we're going to have um, this what I'm going to show you free for people that buy it and it's called the show August ring I'm going to be like what is that all right so this weird thing what is that weird thing well that's something that people that uh, have worked with us work with um, there you go here it is and uh, and uh, is also gonna have a little thing here All right so and uh, this is used for orientation okay so look at this you know it follows that and it follows this which is the it follows the disk itself so let me show you what it is you know see how I'm keeping a track of the of the location what I'm doing the the uh, as a reference you know so it uh, uh, it, it helps you uh, keep uh, learn how to keep uh, synchronizations and things like that and uh, so you have also here on this uh, method a few things you know you have configuration uh, you have uh, transparency color things like that so so if you are, if you are already advanced you could use it something like this and then t until you actually disappear it so you don't need it anymore so this is a tool remember what I was saying that all this uh, these um, things in the be need to be forgettable and that's why we have here a transparency that can be disappear okay this other one the dynamic ring is pretty awesome but I'm not gonna tell you what it is because it's super super awesome and I'm going to talk about that on Friday at the phone fly at the spring fling phone fly and uh, it's pretty awesome it's it's really helpful for a whole lot of things and I'll show it to you guys at the phone fly because it, it will help you do things like uh, um, show August ring turn it off okay uh, like rolling circles rolling loops um, uh, uh, pirouetting hurricanes um, I mean it's a whole lot of things that makes it so easy to learn that uh, that even a capon can do it, you know, like the like the, like that commercial uh, of a guy or whatever. Even a caveman can do it. That's exactly the way this this is designed for. So um, so that's the the helicopter train. There's a lot of helicopter stuff. But this is the one that we use on the on the uh, method. Okay, so that's the one we're gonna be using. You and me and everybody that gets into that with each one of the episodes okay the training the whole thing funnel it's, it's pretty cool it's very very advanced planes is a uh, crash and retry uh, um, uh, replay training music training show statistics uh, stick movers for the ones that have the stick mover 
show hot oh this is also so cool this stuff here is so cool okay let me this is one of the things i love about this thing okay and uh planes what's that helicopters planes and let me uh, turn okay helicopters <coughs> no collective training so stop training perfect <coughs> so let me turn this off here <coughs> So this is what uh, this is, you know, hot is a heads up display, of course, you know, so hot, uh, so simple, hot, and that's the one, and then show sticks here, show altimeter, show <coughs> indicator airspeed, uh, show ground speed, and you'll see, this is, it looks crazy and busy and everything else. Me turn off the turn off the sticks so you can see that and uh, show the wind display and you know whatever show so and that's not and that's enough for, for now now check this out oops what is this the, oh that's a hard hold on the hard is going to be uh, view show hard no they're not gonna show hard okay so uh, uh, okay so let's uh, let me show you how it, it it looks like when you're flying and I find it it's really uh, fun <coughs> because then <coughs> you have all these things and it, it's nice that they are they are transparent because what happens when they are transparent is that they don't they don't cover your they don't cover your your um, Recall that your your visual um, okay your visual um, let me see what I am because I was I wanted to show you the 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 um, what do you call the thing the the scenery you know has some some pretty cool stuff here and um, so the sun is in the back something that I love about this scenery so so whenever you have a um when you have the helicopter in front of you it has a very nice uh light you know it makes it very easy to see so what is this you know this is pretty much um it allows you to see stuff and and you make you know things that you want to see like for instance the g's that g oh let me let me turn off the hold on the g is one of the ones that i like the most check this out so I have I have a couple mixed up there. The G meter is this one, okay, and this is vertical speed, okay. Vertical speed, ground speed, variometer, is that it? There you go. So G meter. This is the G's. And so if you go and start so look check out the G see. So you can you can tell how many G's the helicopter is doing. And uh, and it's it's kind of a uh, pretty pretty um illustrative because um you never know how much is. You're always wondering how much is. Uh, so that's what it is, you know. So you have um, um, all kind of cool stuff, you know. So you can do um, what do you call that? Uh, see, very low G's on this maneuver. See how nice that is. So um, uh, that um, now you start flying smack, you know. Oops! You start doing smack, and then you start getting more G's and stuff like that, right? So. Okay, so that oh, uh, uh, I forgot to show the, the the speed of the tail, right? Let me set up set that up on the settings. Uh, that would be on the flight mode. Let's say on this one, right? Flight total rate eighty three percent. So let's try some crazy number here. Okay, let's see. Let's see. All right, so yeah it's it's this I like it because it, it really 
matches really well the response when you're doing um, when you're doing fast period rates very very likely very very like the original one so it's something that I that I never had on a on a on a simulator some real feeling as a real thing you know what I'm doing really fast uh, pirouetting rate you know pirouetting pirouetting uh, uh, we call that um, pirou flips right um, and uh, so see like it's like you do a um, what's the name of that um, pirouetting uh, I forgot what's the name of that um, Death spiral. There you go. You got death spiral. So, and everything like you can do um, at full speed, and it's very controllable. Let me set up, uh, and it can take you to. Hold on. Let's uh, trying to reset it. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, uh, on this, uh, let's see. That would be flight. No, flight mode. There you go. So on this three. Um, even at even higher speeds, it's still controllable because it, it has. Uh, I haven't really played with this particular model, you know, but still, look at that, you know. The input is real. It's it's like what I can do this on the real one, and it's much more difficult to do it in the other simulators because for some reason this speed of simulation is is it's amazingly accurate. I, I really enjoy this about this set and this um, see you can do stuff like this and you know and it's just amazing you know it's simply amazing how how fantastic the simulation part of the thing is and um, and uh, so I just did the reset there you go and uh, all these controls and stuff like that right now I'm not really I actually do play with things you can put them wherever anywhere you want uh, so they don't have to be there, but actually I put it <laughs> this one close here sometimes just to see what the you know what I'm doing and see what the speed is the the gist that I'm getting and uh, and do that stuff because I want to make sure that I'm not gonna break something on my alley you know like uh, have a boom strike so sometimes I can I can um, do a uh, uh, I can do uh, uh, change the maneuver by looking at stuff like that, you know. By looking at the G's and uh, this thing is is really really good. So this I'm very glad I. I was not aware of this, nor I had any clue that this was such a good simulator. It's a really good simulator. So it's kind of new for the, for us here in the States, apparently. Not that many people have it. Some people have it a long time ago. And uh, and then, um, and uh, and they um, uh, have always loved it. And. Oh, that was too low on the exit. Um, they always loved it, and uh, they kept talking and saying this thing is amazing. And nobody listened to them. And I'm one of the ones that didn't listen to them. I thought it was some kind of a toy thing, and it turns out to be one of the best ones there are. You know, so um, pretty amazing stuff. You know, it's really, really good. So we have a third contender on the on the simulators, and I'm going to repeat this one more time, right? and understand what I'm going to say please please do what I'm telling you about simulators because we want to have always good simulators and this is how we have them don't be stupid this thing is so cheap but this one is about sixty nine dollars something like that uh, or seventy I forgot and uh, so so what I what I was uh, trying to do was uh, uh, I need to learn that one and ask uh, Kyle Stacy at the because that's his maneuver and I I want to learn it so uh, what I was saying okay so oh, 
what I, what happens is that you have um, three simulators, right? That are the main simulators, other than the real flight. But as far as you know, real flight is a big company; they don't need any help because they are part of Hobbyco and everything else. But these other companies, you know, the companies like uh, like uh, Next uh, Accuracy and Heli Heliex or Heliex, they don't have these big budgets like s these other companies. And you know what? We would be stupid if we didn't just buy all of them. Think about it for a second. You know, you have a a what do you call that? Um, like a, I don't know. Um, uh, what's the name of that? Um, hold on. I just I was scratching my my head here. Let me do a reset. Um, uh, we have a servo, right? Tail servo. Hundred and something dollars, hundred and forty, hundred and fifty. Good ones are two hundred dollars. Uh, blades, hundred and forty dollars. Whatever. These things are less than those. So you keep crashing and crashing by hundred and forty dollars blades and everything else, and you are going to be stupid enough to not get the three um, uh, simulators. Why? Why would you do that? You know, if you like the the features that you have on the accuracy get it if you like the features that look the, the, and if you like everything that you can have well just all the three simulators are you know it's like 80 something 30 something and then 60 or 70 something you know what for what you get it's just simply stupid not to supply them with budgets so they can keep on designing these beauties you know and uh, and that's how you make an industry flourish, you know. You, if you are smart, you do these things, and uh, you allow the the industry to to uh, to grow, you know. So that's how you do that stuff, and that's how you make it. So it's it's um, what do you call that? Uh, it flourish, you know. And that's why I have every freaking thing on this one I know a lot of people a lot of my friends do that too because they want to support all of them so this thing about oh this is the best one or whatever that's just stupid that's childish stuff all the simulators have their their strengths and weaknesses um, and uh, and I use them all you know when we do simulators um, uh, a lot of the the um, what do you call this thing um, uh, a lot of these um, online uh, things we do with Next because it's amazing for that, and it does a, a lot of other stuff that are pretty cool, and um, and there are uh, um, simply um, provide a lot of us with a lot of fun, you know, and um, well, that's, that's that's something that you. Uh, help uh, promote and and help the industry grow by buying all of them all of them every single one of them buy them all you know it is it is something that will help will benefit you me and everybody in the hobby and it's so stupid cheap, cheap that it, you know having fights over what's the best simulator is just simply childish you know so every time that you guys have these things about well, I just shake my head. It's like holy cow! Is that I'm talking about a stupid thing that is only a few bucks, you know? And um, and uh, um, it's just simply, you know, it's wasting time. Anyway, so going back to the thing, uh, uh, so we have a uh, hot uh, blah blah. So let's turn everything off here. Uh, show G meter this and that, this and that, this and that. Oh, I forgot to turn on the sticks, you know. Ah, this is four in one sticks. This is. I have to figure out. I think of what they have here is they can put the sticks in like here, and and then you can like um, see see how we can de make the size, and you can uh, make it um, so that when you're flying, right? You know, there's a lot of things going on here. <laughs> But I don't know. I am gonna ask on Michael because it's it's kind of funny. So he's probably going to explain to me why this is and what is this for. So 
I wonder. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, uh, and see what these things are about. <laughs> anyway, but what I was trying to say is uh, show sticks. Okay, here they are. That's the one that we should be using. You know. So anyway, so training uh, helicopter crash and drive. Da, 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 some hearts. Okay, view uh, zoom in zoom out like you know like everything. And you uh, you actually use the F11 and F12 for that. Uh, same thing like uh, any other zooming. Uh, zoom, freeze view, uh, that allows you to freeze the view. That's pretty obvious. More on the screen, center, high, higher. I never uh, checked that. So, oh, it's easy. Uh, yeah, that's just simply the. If you want to have more of the ground, it's a very good uh, feature, by the way. Because it allows you to have more awareness of the ground. Something that I like about the VR. The VR uh, is uh, you always have awareness of the ground. So if you do like like I was doing, right, like a tail slide, then then um, you can see the the ground before, and you can finish the tail slide correctly. You know, Cause you can see the. So that's pretty good. I never did uh, see this before. So I learned this together with you guys. So here we go. I mean, this thing is so smooth, so correct. It's not even funny. It's just crazy good. I really, really enjoy this this uh, simulator quite a bit. It's beautiful. It's fantastic on this, and you know, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, let's see. Uh, view show code model my camera two. Camera two. Oh, there's another thing. Camera two configuration. See, you have that. Can you believe that? So you can like set up the camera on camera configurations, uh, configuration cameras here, here, right? And you have camera two, and uh, I don't know. You can do stuff like um, factor, something like that. Global zoom on off factor, uh, vertical angle, adaptive. Uh, I don't know soft camera mode, maximum angle velocity. So you can have another camera that will have see this one on the left has the view that you can see right and on the right it doesn't have it so you can do things that are different on two on the two cameras it, th that thing is so full of features it's, it's, it's like so long to go over all the things you know because it has a ton of features I didn't realize it's so, such a professional uh, simulator it's really really good anyway so um, pause uh, let's see, view, camera 2, no, perfect, uh, oh, hold on for a second, uh, model, model on screen, I'm going to go back to center, just to keep things uh, normal, like we do, show position, pointer, mm, I don't know what that is, oh yeah, yeah, the, the, the um, so it tells you where you are, so that's good, so when you want to do practice with the cones for a 3, F3A, F3C, I'm sorry, FAI, F3C, that's pretty cool. So show position pointer. Show fly fly path. Ah, this is freaking sweet. Check this out. See? If you do a like an aid in the sky. Or something like that, you can see it. Pretty cool, huh? Oops, almost crashed. Anyway, I did crash. So, um, okay. And the rate at which this balls and the size and everything else is, uh, you can also do smoke and stuff, but this one, what I like about it is that they last and you can control how much, how, lo how much they last, and how long, and uh, all kind of things like that. So, uh, it's pretty awesome. It's pretty, pretty cool. Fantastic, fantastic. Sweet, 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 sweet. Anyway, so that's. Um, let me see if I'm done with this. Let me see. Uh, shortcuts, uh, remove model, reset model, remove model, set new start position, serve. Well, that's for the uh, for the new start position. You can also do it here with the S. You know, you put it in some place and press S and it starts there 
uh, reset model, remove model. So let's say, let's say you have, um, okay, we have it like this, right? Um, here, let's say you want. Ah, let me turn off the, the view show flight path. Okay, so, so let's say that I want to take off like this always. I go like that, and I go S. Okay, so when I do a reset here, you know, the one that will have reset model it will come back to the same thing right now the one that I have is re reload model that will load that will lose that information but once he he it will be available uh, I mean it will be correct by Friday uh, for the phone flight and then again don't forget you're gonna get all these features the new stuff you know uh, with this uh, uh, they're gonna have a new version on the release on Friday with these uh, things and then after that they're gonna have another version called version 10 that will have a whole bunch of additional things that are pretty pretty cool um, anyway so this uh, let me see is that it uh, shortcuts for set model remove utilities for set, set things and new start position set first, uh, set first start position options language font size obviously uh, user manual uh, home page forum look at new models look for new models so you can look for stuff update this one is the one that you use for updating so this is sure it's up to date um, news and stuff and about and that's it so we're gonna get into more detail with this thing because I'm still learning it and but it's so far it's it's a lot of fun it's really a lot of fun now we have three fantastic simulators. We have the next, uh, the Accuracy, and now the Heli X, at least in the United States, uh, that we're not that aware of. And uh, there we go. So go out there, buy all the simulators, be nice to these guys that are working their asses off so we can have a way to save money, cra not crashing helis and learning at home with our simulators. So. Uh, by the way, all the simulators now, are, they are all virtual reality, so that's normal. I'm going to tell you something. Virtual reality is the way to go. It, it is the future. And all these tools, oh, there's a difference between the virtual reality of the other one. In, in this one, in this uh, simulator, the virtual reality actually has uh, the menus, and you can access the menus, you can... Uh, access these rings you can do everything that you see here happens also uh, you can have it available on that you can see all the people you can see information of them you can see sticks i mean everything that you, we do here is available which is very useful because i always have to go back from vr to to um what do you call that um to uh 2d and that confuses me when we are doing um, training and now I'll be able to do training with within the VR and uh, that is a lot of help for me and for the persons that have VR too because we can do the training inside and have all the tools available there it's, it's fantastic anyway all right so this is it for the uh, for the um, for the Helix um, simulator and the setup for that so now you know how to use it and how to set it up for what we want and uh, hopefully that will be um, another tool that we can use to get uh, uh, rid of this slavery of uh, of having to depend on your brain thinking what we're doing and uh, allowing you to to do that well uh, uh, by the way if you saw the pirating flip right remember that the way I told, that's pretty you can you can obviously tell that you cannot do that thinking what you're doing and despite what you might think that is a lot easier than thinking what you're doing that when you learn it and that's why all the people have been learning them they come back and they go like holy smokes this is amazing and people that are like older people and do that now you see them you know flippity floppity around doing pyro flips doing pyro loops doing um uh, rolling circles doing whatever and they're happy finally that's what we need for the hobby we need the hobby to be back strong by making everybody enjoy it the same way us who are addicted to it enjoy it because we 
do enjoy this stuff and they are not enjoying it so it's our duty as as uh, fellow hobbies to give them a way to do it so that's what this this method is all about and I'm going to tell you guys something I am very active online normally uh, I mean you see me active online, but normally I'm not normally I am sort of a recluse that's why you didn't see me at all the reason why I came online is because I saw the need to get this whole thing going about restoring the hobby and the whole thing and that's why you see me everywhere and you know in you know, your face and telling you this and this and that the whole thing and, the, and giving you a little bit of history of me and things so you kind of like realize that you're talking to a person that has a lot of experience in the hobby and that you can trust that what I'm saying has some basis you know uh, once that is done once the heli takes off and everything else then I will go back to my reclusive life of enjoying myself flying with my friends in my local field which is what I was doing before uh, so uh, so you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be you wanna be <laughs> You're gonna get rid of me and uh, enjoy yourself without me being in your face doing all kind of shit like that. And uh, so hopefully everybody will be flying and having fun at the time. So, all right. So you guys have fun and uh, enjoy this. And uh, we'll get. Uh, I'm gonna be releasing the very first uh, episode, which is the easiest one. It's uh, the easiest maneuver there is, which is piro, pirouetting, flying, flipping people are feeling turning around doing for pirouetting anything you want that's the easiest maneuver there is and I will show you how so be on the you know if you if you want to see it in person go to go to the phone fly because it's worth it believe me when I tell you it's going to be worth it there's going to be a seminar also on that uh, on that um, phone fly and we're gonna have fun so uh, all right enough times this time is for real I'm gonna leave and uh, hope you guys have a good time bye bye